Welcome to Subject to Talent, brought to you by Allegis Global Solutions. Similar to you, we're always trying to learn more. On this podcast, we speak to workforce and talent experts from around the world, covering market trends, technology, and our ever-evolving dynamic industry. Hi, I'm Bruce Morton, the host of Allegis Global Solutions' Subject to Talent podcast. Today, I'm handing over the microphone to my good friend and colleague, Stephen Livingston. Stephen is the Supply Chain Manager for AGS's North America Supplier Partnerships and Strategy. He has a passion for increasing supplier performance and mentoring them with his best-in-class engagement and recruitment strategies. He'll be joined today by BravoTech's VP of Strategic Accounts, Kristen Ledner. Kristen is a leader in the IT recruitment space and was part of the pilot of the AGS Supply Chain Management Mentorship Program. Together, they're going to discuss the mentorship program, the benefits, lessons learned, and potential impact on the future for managed service provider and supplier partnerships. Let's listen in. Hi, I'm Stephen Livingston, the Supply Chain Manager for North America at Allegis Global Solutions. And I'm excited today to guest host this episode of the Subject to Talent podcast with my colleague and friend, Kristen Linder. She's the Vice President of Strategic Accounts at Bravo Tech. Bravo Tech is an IT staffing leader with a proven record of helping companies build highly skilled IT teams. And Kristen's been with Bravo Tech for 19 years and leads the managed service provider and enterprise account strategy. She has a consummate knowledge of the staffing industry and the importance of building client and recruiter relationships. Kristen, welcome, and thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So at AGS's Subject to Talent podcast, we always ask our guests the same first question. How did you get into the workforce industry and what was your journey to where you are today? Let's see here. I'm one of the rare ones that um, have been in the industry for 19 years and I've also been with the same company for 19 years. So I started right out of college. And um, like most people in our industry, they start off in some type of um, recruiting role and function. And so that's what I did for about a year, moved into business development pretty quickly after. And my role has really just kind of morphed and changed over the past several years at Bravo. And now I lead the MSP and account strategy um, for our team. Yeah, fantastic. Well, I'm excited to get into today's topic because it's something that I'm very passionate about. Obviously at AGS, our supply chain team, oversees our partnerships and strategies to drive value to our clients and our suppliers. And really back in 2021, we recognized that we could do more to invest in our amazing DEI suppliers. So we created the AGS Supply Chain Management Mentorship Program. Our goal with the program is to provide business insights into the supplier's current performance within our AGS programs, but also to really provide them with subject matter expertise and allow them to succeed and really match with our customers' evolving strategic needs in areas such as diverse candidate pools, certified diverse spend, and upskilling programs. And we have had great success for year one. Overall, our starts have increased by 64% on average. Suppliers saw an average increase in spend of 27%, and we had a use success in increasing activity assignments by an average of 180%. And Kristen, BravoTech is now working successfully within, with two new AGS programs. So Kristen, the BravoTech team was one of the suppliers to go through the pilot of our mentorship program. Can you tell us a bit about BravoTech and what interested you in participating in this mentorship program? Yeah, absolutely. So first of all, BravoTech is a certified WBE. Currently we do business across the United States, so we're domestic only. And um, we really specialize in IT, but with a lot of our programs that we support today, we also do professional and engineering. Um, our core business uh, team sits um, predominantly in Dallas, but we've got people, you know, on East Coast, West Coast um, and Central as well. And we, you know, we've been working with AGS now for about five ish years. I was actually looking at the data. I was like, I wasn't exactly sure. And um it was awesome for us. It was a really awesome opportunity to be invited. Um, so number one, thank you for doing that um, because it it really gave us um, an opportunity to have a seat at the table and to really learn how AGS, number one, works with their clients, um, how they work with their suppliers and what Bravo Tech 
was missing out on um, and potential opportunities because we really just didn't understand the process. Yeah, well, let me tell you, your strong ability to attract diverse candidates and your amazing partnership made Bravo Tech a great fit for the program. That's exactly the kind of company we're looking to uplift in our supply chain. Can you tell us about Bravo Tech's experience with the mentorship program? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and this is where I get really excited because I feel like being a part of the first generation, right, Gen 1, that we um, were really um, able to help mold and shape it as it went to, right, yeah. since we all were doing this together. And, and so for us, it was really, um, again, visibility, right? We were able to start really meeting with the supply chain team um, under yours and Brittany's uh, team members. And, you know, as a staffing partner, being able to get in front of those individuals takes a long time. It could take months. It could potentially take years. And so when the mentorship program was formed and the relationships really um, were starting with the supply chain team, um, it really helped us learn, um, number one, what clients are in your portfolio, right? That AGS supports. And then really allow us to sell Bravo Tech's strengths and what we bring to the table um, to each of those individuals. So then in return, they could partner with their end customer to see, okay, if there is there gaps, are there areas where we um, could really come in and make an impact? Um, is there really maybe no value at the, at, you know, today? Um, and so the last 12 months, we're really spent from my standpoint of building those relationships with the supply chain team um, and having an opportunity at times as well to meet with the end customer. So for us, you know, some st statistics that I think are really important to note are um, of the um, AGS North America accounts specifically, we were pitched to 32 of them. And some of them we were pitched multiple times, which is great, right? So on our side, um, and Stephen, you know this as well, um, usually you're not added to a program immediately, right? There is a lot that goes into um, getting added into a program. Um, it's most of, most of its timing, right? So um, really understanding, again, what those dynamics are. And, and so with that, we we're, you know, like I said, we were pitched to, you know, 32 different accounts. Um, we were, um, we were brought into one. So we went live into one program, um, middle of last year and that's going exceptional. We actually did such a great job that that same client brought us into the direct hire side as well. So, um, really for us, the, the mentorship program, the way it was set up and designed, um, what really um, allowed us to gain um, a bit better footprint within AGS. Yeah, we definitely really enjoyed working with you all. And, and I will continue to enjoy working with you all um, to build a great partnership. And I, I, again, I think one of the things that you guys have done extremely well is really accentuate your strengths um, and, and make it so that when we bring you to a client, um, you know, we know what sets you apart in the marketplace and we know, and we've got now a proven track record of your success. So congratulations on the, on the extra business that you've earned on your own. That's fantastic. Um, and we'll continue to, to build on that right in the years to come. We're really excited. Exactly. So as you know, the mentorship program is set for one year. However, that's not really the end. As I just mentioned, we're still working with you, uh, this year during our alumni program and uh, looking to add additional resources and insights for you. Um, can you talk a little bit about kind of your understanding the alumni program and, and, and you know, what you've uh, thought of it so far? Yeah, absolutely. So for us, right, year one was really learning um, the AGS way, um, how to be successful, um, building those um, baseline relationships. And so for year two, we're just building on that. So um, being able to take the relationships that I built from year one and, you know, and other people that were a part of the mentorship program as well. Um, but then now take it a step further, right? Really, um, again, we talked about timing earlier, um, understanding what those timing dynamics look like for 2023, um, being able to provide some, um, you know, key data points that's going on um, in the market today, right? Since, since we've all seen that shift that's happened from Q4 last year into Q1 this year, um, and then also, you know, starting to build those relationships with some of the program managers. So um, what I've heard from some of your um, supply chain team is 
um, they like to partner with their program managers and the program executives that are tied to the clients. And so now that they have um, an opportunity to meet with me as well, ask them similar questions, um, talk about what's going on with their customers and really being able to, under, you know, again, understand um, are certain accounts a better fit for us or not? And being able to partner and help the program team and the supply chain team um help with whatever their initiatives are for 2023. Yeah, that's fantastic. We'll continue to look for opportunities to to leverage your strengths um, to ultimately become uh, real key pillars in the success of our clients and, you know, as a result, AGS as well. Yeah, we're really excited, you know, um, within the mentorship program, um, we were um, invited to the supplier forum that's coming up um, next month. And so that it's for Bravo, it's our first time being a part of that. So, same thing with the mentorship program. We um, there were a lot of things that came out of it that we didn't know. You know, you think being in the business for 19 years, you kind of understand everything and how everything works, but you really don't. Things change um, all the time, and so having an opportunity to be able to be a part of that um, summit and just sit in, listen, learn, um, meet new people um, is also exciting. But I think one thing to note too, I think. Um, that we haven't touched on yet that I think is really important for the mentorship program is um, the information that you're, you're able to gain by using the um, acumen system. So I was able to use that several times in trying to help some of the supply chain team um, uncover, okay, if there's some niche skill sets that are you know needing to be um, help supported or markets and all that to really, instead of having to ask them all those questions, I could go do a lot of the legwork myself. And then when we were meeting, I could already pull those data points for them. So that was also super um, helpful and insightful just to be able to, again, not only run numbers for the current programs that I'm in, but also the ones that I'm interested in to really see, again, if there's going to be a fit or a compliment there. Yeah, I, I really do love that portal. Um, and, and I think, again, your ability to have access to that um, and to really drive your own um, performance day to day, right? It's not something that updates every month or you have to wait for us to pull a report for you. You're, a, you're really able to go in and dial in and, and understand from, from moment to moment um, how you're performing, where the opportunities are in the programs. Um, I think that's a great tool and I'm very glad we could provide that for you. Uh, to help drive your success. So I'm glad you'll remain having access to that um, now. So that's fantastic. All right. So in addition to Acumen and the access you received there, we've also had a chance now to go through and look at some scorecards. So Kristen, can you talk a little bit about kind of how the scorecarding process went and, and how that looked? Absolutely. So the the new program that we were brought into through the mentorship program, we actually went live in the middle of a quarter. So when we first received our first full scorecarding from um, the new program that we were brought into through the mentorship program, um, it was really great because we could we could look at the data that was coming from the program, you know, our actual numbers. Right. So positions we received, responded to, you know, interviews, offers, starts, all those things. And then we could also take that data and then go back into the acumen system and then look at the missed opportunities. So if we didn't get a hire on one position, we could see, okay, what were the hires that were ha that were captured for that quarter? Um, where did we miss? Are those repeatable skill sets? Is it something that we need to start pipelining for? So we were able to like really use that data that shared with us on a quarterly basis and then turn around and go into the acumen system and then uh, apply it, right? So our recruiting team had a better strategy um, going into the next quarter. Um, again, right, those repeatable skill sets are really crucial um, for this client in particular. They have a lot of those. Mm -hmm. um, so just gaining that insight um, to further, you know, help and support our recruiting team to be successful on the next round of roles that are coming out. Yeah, and I know it's certainly the data is important. And I'm very glad your scorecard data looked great overall. But I love being able to go back in and really understand, hey, what's the story behind the numbers, right? Having that visibility and extra insight to take the extra layers, uh, kind of peel them off and, and understand what's driving this and what actions can um, you as a supplier change or even provide feedback to us as a, as a um, MSP and, uh, and, and AGS um, to really help us understand how we can form a better partnership and really drive success uh, moving forward. And, and continue to evolve our program to, to meet uh, your success and obviously the success of, of our clients. That's fantastic. Exactly. 
Well, and two, you know, when you're when you're new into a program, you've got a pretty big learning curve already unless you've supported them, you know, back in a different um, company or whatever. But so you're really trying to um, gain as much knowledge as you can as fast as you can so you can be successful. Right. So that's why they brought you into the program. So um, you can start adding value. So being able to look at both sides, um, again, equip our recruiting team. Um, ask questions where we might not fully understand. It, ju- it just gives um, a more even level playing field quicker for new people that are coming on board. Kristen, how would you say those who have been a part of this program will help shape the future of staffing compared to today? From a um, staffing partner perspective, it allows you to keep your client base diverse, right? So um, if, if you have visibility to the supply chain team covering all verticals, um, you know, the energy sector, the finance and accounting sector, you know, all those things. Um, and there there's new opportunity that's created from those relationships and it keeps your, you know, client base diverse as well. But I think too, right. The, the goal of the mentorship program, I would, I think from AGS's standpoint is to create opportunity, new and, you know, future opportunity for suppliers you really want to work with, right? So, um, so if you're talking about the future, um, the future would be, right, um, year one, year two, year three recipients that were part of the mentorship program, you can look back and see, wow, look how much business that we are able to bring into our own company by the mentorship program. You could trace that easily. Um, like I said, at the beginning, we were pitched to 32 accounts in one year, 32 brand new accounts that Bravo has never had experience or exposure to, which is crucial to our business to continue to grow. And and for us um, to look back and see all the relationships over year one, year two, year three, start to really, you know, get some momentum and, and opportunity created um, is super valuable for our organization as well. I really um, jumped on board when when we went live, you know, last January. I was really excited because it's so hard to build these relationships. It takes so much time and even to understand, um, you know, the complexities of a lot of these accounts. Right. And so um, and and again, it just takes time. So having um, opportunity to really ask questions to the right people. is, is it's invaluable. It, it just, it is, it's helped us so much. Um, and, and really for Bravo, we've really changed the ways we, we have done things. One thing we haven't talked about, um, but is, you know, how, how AGS actually captures new business, right? So when y'all go through RFPs and all of that, we learned all of that through the mentorship program as well as, and, and even where we could come in and actually partner with AGS during that process of some key things that Bravo brings to the table, like diversity talent and talking about diversity in, in, in different ways than everyone else is, is discussing it and really be able to add value um, even on the front end before AGS even has a brand new client. Yeah, more and more we're finding that suppliers play a real big role in determining uh, and recommending uh, you know companies like AGS to our clients. So to be able to partner with you all um, and really bring in your perspective and your expertise um, and, and have that recommendation be on our behalf is, is uh, very welcome and, and something we, we really value and appreciate. All right, we'd like to end every episode um, with a look into the future. If you had a crystal ball, where do you see the graduates of the mentorship program in five years? No, I think um, looking into the future is um, Bravo Tech continues to expand and, and grow their business within you know, AGS and our portfolio, um, it continues to be diverse and ultimately that we become a strategic supplier for AGS. Yeah, that'd be outstanding. I look forward to that day. Uh, I'm sure it will come and, um, we can't wait to, to see you continue to prosper in this program. Um, and with AGS and our clients for years to come. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, what should listeners do if they want to learn more about Bravo Tech? If you are wanting to gain more information about Bravo Tech, you can visit any of the platforms that we have on social media, LinkedIn, bravotech.com, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Um, and you can also reach out to me directly. Great. Thank you so much for joining me and we'll see you next time. 
to learn more about AGS, please check us out at AllegisGlobalSolutions.com. You can also send questions for me or our guests. Just tweet us here at Allegis Global with the hashtag subject to talent or email us at subject to talent at AllegisGlobalSolutions.com. And if you enjoyed our podcast today, please subscribe, rate us, and leave a review. Until next time, cheers. <laughs>